Welcome to the Amelia Schoolhouse Inn in Amelia Island, Florida. Okay, so today we're taking you to Amelia Island, and this is in Florida. In Florida, Amelia Island, Florida, and this is the Amelia Schoolhouse, which is kind of interesting. So they've taken a schoolhouse and turned it into an inn. The Amelia Schoolhouse Inn. So it's super cool. We've got these really high ceilings here. And, and Lisa um, loves high ceilings. I love, all that I love high ceilings. They've got these old floors. I don't know if they're original. They're very thin floors. And actually they're uneven too, by the way. So you can see so how thin this one is. So yeah, floors. it looks like the original schoolhouse floors because they're not even list, which is interesting. And then, um, so here we're in room, so you know we're staying in room 16, and this is on the second floor, so we're on the second floor here. And um, come on over here. Cool old doors they did. Um, so here's some things that I noticed that was really cool. I like the refrigerator. So it's like an old, old school kind of refrigerator thing. Yeah, this is a huge room. So yeah, obviously the ceilings, these are what, like 16 foot ceilings I would say top of it? For sure. Um, yeah, for sure. Big, big king size bed. Um, they did kind of the old pine, it looks like the old desks next to the bed, which are really cool. Um, some of the beadboard in here is a very nice detail. I like the old looking clock. Um, they have a huge TV here, and actually a uh, little sitting area, which is very nice, so you can just relax in the room. Well, it just kind of shows how big the room is. Yeah. yeah. So the, the seating area with a um, coffee table, little bottle of wine, which costs extra but still, yeah. it's a little bottle of wine that's there, so that's kind of cool. And then there's quite a big bathroom, so. Yeah, let's check out the bathroom. Obviously, this place has been done recently. I think it's probably only about three or four years old. Um, subway tile, very clean, old school flooring, which I uh, really enjoy. A and real bathtub, that's a cast iron. Yeah, room. a real bathtub, bathtub they put in here. So, so they did it attention right. to detail, it's a very, very cute place. Like super clean, spotless, um, very big. And we'll show you the bar downstairs is hopping. They call it the principal's office, which I think is mm -hmm. really cute. So the principal's office is full right now. So everybody got sent to the principal's office today. Everybody got sent to today. the principal's office, and it's, <laughs> um, we're going to show you that in a second. So we're also going to show you around Amelia Island because we just arrived. So a couple of things I wanted to show you that I really like about the room now that we've been here two seconds. First of all, it's got a full-length mirror here. I love a place that has a full-length mirror because you always want to know what you look like. And I don't look the best right now, but I'm going to go change for dinner in a minute. We've just been traveling all day. And then I thought this was adorable. They have a schoolhouse um, Kleenex thing. So look at how cute that is. That's right. So that is just a really cute. And I like the old fashioned lights, but I just thought that was a really cute touch. And two more things over here that I didn't mention that we should talk about. One is there are these great bathrooms here. Yeah, so very nice. this is really wonderful. And then the next thing is I didn't mention is that they've got this little sitting area, but they've got this huge TV. I mean, it's like as big as I am almost. So it looks like pivots too. So yeah, and it pivots so you can sit on the couch, watch the thing, and um, watch some sports because that's one of my favorite things. Right, and then some technical things. Each of the <coughs> rooms are, since this is an old schoolhouse building, so each of the rooms are set up with their own split system, so everybody gets their own temperature kind of thing yeah. going on. And, and it's, it's, you know, sometimes you get in these old buildings and they don't smell so well and they're, you know, they doesn't have all. any of that going on, so. And this is really, obviously, a really old building. And now when we come to places, what we usually do is we kind of point out the things we aren't so hip on and aren't so cool, you, you know, that we don't it? like. But that's my point. I actually have. I haven't seen anything yet. I haven't seen anything here that I'm like, oh, if this was, it'd be better. So, so far, actually, it's perfect. Yeah. You know what else is giving it kind of the schoolhouse touch though? What? There's a couple other things I've noticed is the clock. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a schoolhouse touch. Yeah, like when you were, like, for us old people, we were in school, we all had these clocks in our school rooms. Oh, yeah, I don't know what schools are like now, yeah, but that's not. that's what it we used to be. Clocks kind of right? Like and then here's something that's kind of cool too is a, is a, a globe. Yeah, a globe. So I thought that was kind of cool. Wait, and over there they got the map. All right. And yeah. even here, 
I don't know if you know this, but here they've got, this is ABCs, oh, ABCs. and it's on old books and it's on old books right so it's really a nice little attention to detail so yeah. i can't find so, anything in here that is so you know we'll usually be like the good the bad the ugly well right now all so we got the, is good, good. the good and the good the good the good and the good <laughs> so good. i would re definitely recommend coming here this is great and we're going to show you the downtown is all nearby and walkable it's a great little area to spend a couple of nights yeah we're so excited to go check that out too it's a little cold today but um it's not always gonna be cold here, we're in Florida. Right. It's just an unusual cool day, but yeah. we're gonna go check out the downtown area anyway. Okay, awesome. Okay, so here's one other thing that's kind of cool. Our room's on the second floor. Right, room's on the second floor. So instead of putting the coffee maker inside each one of the rooms, they just put it like a community kind of a thing outside the room with, um, with a curry, which is nice. A, a microwave and that way it's not in your room you come out here you get a cup of coffee which yeah. i think is not a bad idea and tomorrow morning starting at 7 15 they do a continental breakfast so we'll show you that okay so this is the principal's office at the amelia schoolhouse inn and every day they have and it's open to the public by the way and every day they have a special which is uh nine dollars here it's today it's a cherry splash and then happy hours from four till six Okay, uh, Miss Lisa, uh, I heard you have to go to the principal's office. You're being uh, called to the principal's office. I don't want to go. Oh, well, you got to go. I don't want to go. Well, you're going to have to go. You're going to make me go to the principal's office. You're going to have to go to the principal's office. All right, let's go. I should have read them first. Yeah. <laughs> you want a couple more minutes? Oh, yeah, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go real fast. Which one do you recommend? Do you like bourbon? Fossa. Do you like bourbon? Fossa. Fossa? Fossa. I'll see you. All the class. That's the expert. Oh, yeah. This is um, so our drinks. Uh, Lisa got a cherry slush. And that's one of the special. The mine is classic. Thank you. 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 Thank
Hi, so it's history time at the Amelia Schoolhouse Inn. And, and history is Lisa's favorite thing. We all know that by now. Subject. Um, maybe besides, well, whatever. That's another story. So um, I wanted to give you a little bit of history. So this building was a, the original schoolhouse on the island, and it was built in 1860. So I wanted to give you a little history on this building. It was built in 1886 as the first schoolhouse on the island. And it was used all the way up until the 1930s when they um, had so many children on the island, they had to build a bigger school. So this is called schoolhouse number one. And in 2017, when the current owners took it over, they gutted the entire place, um, actually even removed the windows, um, gutted the interior and the only thing they left was a staircase on um, the original staircase here So that's why everything feels so clean and fresh in here Then they fixed all the bricks point by point They took the windows out actually had them redone and brought them back and put in so between the 1930s and 2017 it served as a bunch of different um, places including like a library and some offices but I'm so glad they turned it into this um, little inn because the location's great it's um, a cool part of history to come stay in. So this is a real class from the schoolhouse um, 1924 these are the teachers and the kids that were going to school here. So they have a nice little pool area right now it's winter time so it's got a little bit of leaves in it but I'm sure they maintain it quite well in the summertime when it's more usable right now it's only 50 six degrees so nobody's going to use the pool anyways but otherwise it's a really beautiful little pool area you can yeah yeah so there's two things i like about the about the schoolhouse we just stayed at and one is the free parking i love it when places have free parking so they've got free parking they've got free breakfast and the other thing i love about it is free bikes so they have bikes here that you can use anytime you want to it's all free as part of their deal for staying at the schoolhouse and with this being such a friendly pedestrian historic district, what a great way to ride around and look at the different houses. And with Amelia Island being such a cool historic place, it's a great way to see all the old houses and structures and the architecture, the old historic district, just by riding around in a bike. So, so here we are, we're at Amelia Island, and we're staying at the Fairbanks b and &B. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, I got it right. And this is our room, which is the captain's room. We're gonna go check it out. Okay. Okay, so Lisa's favorite, high ceilings. First thing I noticed right out of the hat. Yep, high ceilings. Uh, great old windows you can tell you know how you can tell they're old because, because they're, they're wavy. wavy so yes. when you look out and things don't look perfectly um, square it's because they're actually the glass was leaded right that's right and here's another fun fact yeah just see so um, which is kind of cool because old glass is actually not solid it's liquid and it actually is running over years and years and years it'll oh. typically be thicker at the bottom than it is at the top because it's actually it running so uh, king size bed 
uh, four poster bed, which is really cool. Oh, actually very comfortable bed, by the way. Oh, super comfortable bed. Is oh, nice. Yeah. Um, and decorated for the time period, which I actually enjoy. It, you know, if I come to an old place, I want it to be decorated in according to the time period. The floors here actually seem all like they're original, by the way, which is These super cool. These would have to definitely be original. And this fireplace is amazing. So back in the day, of course, this is the only way they had to heat the house. And, you know, like Paul was saying earlier that it was all the way down in the 40s last night. So, you know, if you lived here, you would want this to heat your house up. We would definitely need heat. They're saying that they know that this is the captain's room because it was actually a cedar lined closet. So, so that is one of the ways that they're verifying that this was actually the captain's room. And at the time, it actually had an adjoining door with the bedroom next door, which I think probably would have been maybe here, into the bedroom next door. And my guess that that was his wife's room because back in the day, they had not only um, his and her, they had his and her bedrooms. All right. So that would have been his wife's room and this would have been his room, which is super cool. Let's go check out the back. Okay. Um, Claws, foot Original tub. doors, hard doors, not fake doors. Yes. So when you come in here, there's actually a claw foot bathtub, which again, I love because it's part of the period piece. Also like the metal hanging curtain that goes with it. Um, pedestal sink, and um, you have an ensuite and an old house, which I'm sure they added at some point later. Oh, right. Well, it's very beautiful. Yeah. That's great. So B &B. far, loving the place. Very elegant. Um, one of the most distinguished houses, I would say, absolutely on Amelia Island. All right. It looks amazing from the outside. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's check out more. Do you want to show us it? <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the little kitchen area. Wow, this is great. And you said there's there's two units that are kitchen area like this? No. Um, this one has it and that other one doesn't. Five, five so two has. Kind of okay. I just love this room. So I it, it was... The color. I like the color. Yeah. And yes, I agree. I like the colors. Very so nice little living room area. Yeah. Different colors go with different things. I mean, I'm sure eventually, you know, we'll phase out some curtains and put some different ones up. And, yeah. You know, as time goes on, you have to. Always a process. Freshen. Yeah, yeah. freshen. Yeah. Up. You gotta do it. <laughs> okay. So the bedroom well, I area. I don't know who put this so together, king size but I love bed. that. I'm thinking, Poster I'm bed. I think that eventually he does the same thing as he's done in his others where he actually puts little fireplaces in there. Yeah. And then in here yeah. is that walk-in yeah. closet. So isn't that nice? We were, we were surprised just, you know, just historically on how small these are because you couldn't put a big fire in there. Well, I figured they had servants too that would keep it stoked all the time kind of a thing because they're wealthy families, right? So I said, your butler would be the... I said, how cute would it be if, you know, everybody was in the black and the white aprons and stuff running around here? Oh my God. It'd be adorable. Tammy's like, yeah. no, don't say yeah, it. Don't. So this pair of banks in comes with bicycles that you can use, um, all complimentary, use them anytime you like. The, the beach is kind of a uh, bike ride away because it would be a long walk there, but a bike ride wouldn't be so bad. So it's nice that they have bikes and you can get around town. So it's really cool of them. And what are these cottages? 
So, oh yeah, the cottages are all part of the, the inn or the B&B, but these are the old servants quarters, what they used to be. And now, you I don't can, know what they use them for now. No, you can, you can stay in some of them. Oh, you can? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So there you go. Nice. Uh, all three of these, I think, yeah. right? Wow. So this is quite a large property. Yeah. So one of the cool things um, to do when you're on a, uh, when you come to a new area, what we do all the time, actually, I don't know, and I would say it would be a good tip to always um, uh, take a tour of wherever you are first, when you first get to a place, and then you kind of know your way around yeah. as you're tooling around. You know what you're looking at. And you know what you're looking at, yep. So, so Amelia Island is um, a, a small barrier island on the east coast of Florida. It's, it's, it's at, right at the Georgia border. And it has, um, like you'd almost think it was in Georgia because Florida kind of goes up to capture Amelia for some reason. So it's included in it. It must have been negotiated as part of the um, treaty with Spain originally. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the island is like two miles wide at its widest point by 13 miles long. So it's pretty, pretty small island, uh, initially inhabited by the Indians um, until the Spanish came here first and then the French showed up right behind them. So the island has been um, flying up to eight, flew eight different flags. So there's been eight people who have claimed Amelia Island as their own. And an interesting Which fact, would be the French, the Spanish, the English, the, the oh, the, the Mexican, not renegades. The, uh, the Patriots. The Patriots. Um, the Scottish. Scottish. The Scotland Scottish, claimed it. Right. Um, and then there was one period the where... The Confederates. Was, the Confederates. Um, but um, the Mexican something was in there. Uh, and I don't remember the, what it was called, the Mexican... Uh, anyway. It was, there was a, a very small period in there. Oh, that was kind of interesting. Okay. So, but there wasn't a lot of real battles that were fought here. Kind of like people claimed the island and then sort of gave it up when, the, when they heard the other guy, the next guys were coming in. So there really wasn't um, too many battles and the island was taken over one time by like 300 soldiers. So, I mean, it's not like there were a lot of people here fighting, which was kind of interesting. Right. But it gave a real mix of people here as different people took it over. People stayed, they didn't leave. Um, so um, it became a real melting pot. And it also became a place for when the Civil War began um, and was going on um, for freed slaves to come and get schooling and live on the island. They were welcome. So it's got a very cool history. And in actual fact, they're claiming that this is the actual oldest town in the United States. Right. Of which we thought it was St. Augustine. Uh, Augustine, but that was the oldest. St. Augustine claims to be the longest continuing occupied city. So they're saying that we were here, St. Augustine's like somebody's lived here the longest. But in Amelia Island, actually, people came here, then they abandoned the island, and then they came back. So it was actually the French, yeah, right. surprisingly, which I had no idea. French were first. Probably had in like 1561, I think it was about 3,000 people living on this island. And that's a huge settlement for back then. That's a very large settlement. Oh, yeah. So they had that many people living on the island. Um, and therefore claim that this is actually the first settlement in the United States, which is interesting. Very interesting. A lot of history on this side of the, yeah. the United States. Yeah. Of course, yeah. makes sense yeah. because of where they all landed, but, yeah. but there's so much history over here. It's a lot yeah. very fascinating. I really enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've learned about Amelia Island. And then they became, because it was, you know, the, this East Coast, um, Southern part, like with St. Simon Islands and Jekyll Island and this island, all the money from the New York area would come down here for their winter. So this became a place, one of the places that they came for the winter. So there were railroads here very early. And so um, the shrimping industry and the lumber industry 
um, were all and indigo at the time they had big indigo farms on this island was a big part of it. So the, it's always been a now now it's a tourist place and it's very quaint. It's very um, there's more to see here than I thought there would be actually. Mm -hmm. um, and we filled up three days pretty easily. We've still got one more place to go, so we're going to go do that in a little bit here. But all right, that's it. People are nice, but it's only for the tips. The weather's fine, but it's nothing I would miss. My only friends are the ones I left behind. Wish I could see them just for a moment. Cause I don't know anybody here, it's awfully lonely. I smile, but they just stare. And I see me. Okay, so we're checking in at Elizabeth Point Inn in Amelia Island. Yeah, let's go check it out. Here's what's happening, is we're staying at the Elizabeth Point Inn, and they actually have um, the main buildings. building, which is right in front of me here, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, beach. Very um, Cape Cod style. Cape Cod style. But we're staying right next door, where they say they're even nicer because they have balconies that um, look out over onto the beach. staying in the Breezes Suite, and it's an oceanfront suite, so let's go take a look at it. Cool, so it looks like we've got a great little sitting area here. So we've got a place where we can relax and actually watch TV right here. Is it a, no. Nope, it's not a pull-out sofa, but that's okay. Oh, so if Paul gets that. in trouble, he doesn't have a pull-out sofa to sleep <laughs> on. <laughs> and nice TV, a little desk, coffee pot in the room, which is really nice. Looks like they've got some games and a couple of leftover books and stuff, which I would like when they leave the leftover books because you never that's know what fun. people want to see. And then we've got... Oh, there's a in-room safe. Oh, oh, good. It's small, but it's a safe. Yeah, that's great. Put your uh, your cash in. Perfect. I think open. these are mechanical rooms. Yeah, I think so. So it opens. It's got a little refrigerator. Oh, nice. And an ice bucket. They said they have ice up at the top. At the. Oh yes, because remember, we're not in the main uh, building. We're in one of the side cottages. Right. So these are much bigger, by the way. Yeah, much. We're gonna bigger. try to get in and see one of the other rooms in the, in the main building. But for now, we know that this is just a, a way bigger cottage, yeah. a way bigger place to stay. Sleep. Yep. Okay, so there's his and her closets. You want to open yours up? What do I got in mine? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't yeah. know what that is. But, so you have a closet, not his and hers. Oh. So a closet. I'm not sure what that is, but it's locked. It's a closet. Hmm, it looks just like this one. But. Okay, they've given us bathrooms. And another safe. And another safe, because we apparently have lots of money his, we need to His hide. and her safes. His and her safes. So you have his and her safes. <laughs> We have a lot of stuff we need to hide, and then why don't we go look in the bathroom? Well, let's finish in here. Oh, look, I'm sorry. The the bed, I push it on now. It feels comfortable. The last bed. Oh. When we first pushed on it, I, okay. It felt really comfortable. Okay. But look at how dumb. I'm gonna. Do they have a step stool? I'm gonna need like a step stool <laughs> to get a ladder. This thing. It's like all the way up to my waist. But look, here's how you do it, Lisa. Watch. <laughs> you just gotta jump in. Okay, See, you're gonna jump in. I'm gonna that. have to climb you have the, on the bed. You have, you're in the run jump. <laughs> run jump. There you go. It's gonna be really bad. You can do if it. You cut it if it's You really can do bad, it. Come on, do it. Really do it. Do it. Do it. Run jump. I want your agreement. You're gonna cut it if it's really bad. Okay, so nobody gets to see this if it's bad. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be good. Here we go. Oh, see? <laughs> this is good. 
So the tallest bed I believe we have this is, ever this stayed is in. the tallest bed I've ever stayed in. Is this right place, here. Okay, this gets awarded the tallest bed we've ever stayed in. But it's thick. It's, it's literally up And it's tonight. cushy. It is cushy. I think it's going to be a comfortable bed. Yeah, I think so too. It actually feels really good. Okay, so that's good. another chair, side tables. Yep. Great. Lisa did not get her high ceilings. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But, I, but I that's not bad. <laughs> no, no, I knew it wasn't going to have it. I could yeah. tell by the pictures. What I really got this one for was that we had the outdoor um, patio right here that we could actually sit on and enjoy yeah, things on. That's why I got it. Morning coffee. Yeah, that's... And evening the morning tea. sunshine, huh? Evening tea. Evening tea. So our wine, we can go grab some wine. Oh, right. Um, okay, good. Can we look in the... Let's look in the bathroom. bathroom. Okay, so here's the bathroom. It's actually large. It's a big bathroom and it's got a big garden jacuzzi kind of tub. Well, a bubbly tub. I don't know what that is. It's yeah, got bubbles are, on the bottom yep. and a little remote thing here. Those are actually off. supposed to be good for your circulation. When they do those bubbles like that, it's actually supposed to help the, the body circulation, by the way. Oh. But it's a nice big shower. It's got the bar. In case you need to get in because sometimes people have a tough time with that. Perfect. Especially these deep tubs. I'm definitely using this tonight. Oh, okay. Good. I'm definitely using this tonight. That's a great idea. Good. All right. Let's go check the outdoor site. Okay. Happy hour. Yeah, we met some really so, nice people. So a tip of the day. Tip of the day is is go to places where you can meet people. Oh yeah. Such as um, bed and breakfast or small inns instead of big hotels where you really don't get to see. You get to know people. People. Yeah. Even on cruises, people talk to each other. Right. Cruises are a nice place to to get to know people and. Mm -hmm. Inns are a nice place to get to know people, b and &Bs, of course. Where we had dinner last night, we sat at the bar and then got to know all the people that were working there and the family right. that owned the place. And yeah, so the tip is, is take time to, to get to know people. Yeah, it makes the trip so much better. Yep. So, here on Amelia Island, the restaurant we're eating at tonight is the Beach Street Grill. Did you look at them? I no, I remember. Oh, I'm so good. I remember everything. It's like this. This mine is like a steel trap. I remember everything. So you can't even buy me. So look, Beach Street Grill. Beach Street Grill. So far, it looks delicious. Yeah, we'll let you know. Okay, so. Oh. 
You know I love my history. So, the Bell House, the place where we're eating at, is known as the Grand Dam of Beach Street and was built by Captain William Bell in 1889 as a wedding gift for his bride. Do you know a lot of guys gave women houses for a wedding gift? What the hell? Yeah. Why would they do such a thing? What's up with that? Why give you a house? How do I give you a house? Where did that go away? I don't know. How did you give me a house? Then I had to work very hard to get her a house. I saw that. This was a wedding gift. This house was a wedding gift. I think that's a tradition we need to bring back. That and top hats. Top hats. Yeah, top hats. 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 Top hats
How are the onion rings? Are they outstanding, amazing, most incredible? Okay, we don't want onion rings. I'm gonna say they're not terrible. <laughs> they're nothing. They're not. Nothing to write home yeah. about. Nothing okay. special. Good okay, to good. Know. We appreciate that. Um, let's do. Yeah, no. Oh, Brussels sprouts. Yes, sir. He even said Brussels sprouts. Yeah, he even what said it. Doing? What are you doing? Okay, perfect. Oh Thank you. Good. It's a good Just thing. Just being stupid tourists. It's a good thing you turn your nose up at the at the onion rings because I wanted Brussels sprouts anyways. Thank you. That okay. looks delicious. Thank you. Wow. wow, those are quite the fries. Wow, we should have split. I forgot about splitting meals. Holy moly. Eric. We totally should have split it. Yeah, we should have split a meal. Oh. Just forget about that. Okay. I would eat in half of yours. So I have a travel tip for you. So when eating lunch or even breakfast, because dinner you kind of want your own dinner kind of a thing, but for breakfast and or lunch, try splitting a meal instead of buying two meals and um, and eating overeating three times a day. It's a good idea to eat a lighter lunch or a lighter breakfast and split a meal and you get some really good and not eat as much as you normally would. Okay, so tonight we're gonna check out the oldest bar, or the oldest operating bar in the US called the Palace Saloon, yeah. which is right behind us. Yeah. Um, well, we'll tell you a little bit more about it when we get inside. Yeah. designed by Bush, the, like Anheuser-Busch, one of the original Bushes, and he actually designed this bar for them. Uh, and it was... Well, it's also the oldest bar in the U.S. Yeah. And what else? Oh, and it was the first place that served Coca-Cola when Coca-Cola actually still contained Coke. Okay. That's why it was called Coke. Okay, so today we're gonna try Tamotis for lunch. Kind of a seafood shack, they call it. So it looks like you order your food and go sit down. Huh? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Fish, fish baskets, from oysters. So tonight we're gonna eat at the patio. The, the patio at Fifth and Ash. Yeah, what a cool place this looks like. It's gotten great reviews. We, it's been recommended by two different places we've stayed at. So let's go check it out. All right. One thing to um, do when you're in this area in um, Amelia Island is always make a reservation. Some of these places, the reservation you have to make reservations months in advance. So interestingly enough, this place, so that's one of the reasons we're sitting at the bar. Okay, so what we decided to try, because we, by the way, this we is kind of funny. Light meal. Light meal, because lunch, because we violated tip number three, I don't know what tip it was, of, of ordering uh, one dish for two for lunch, we ordered two. And now we're so full that we're going in for a light dinner. <laughs> and you can see this is our light dinner. Yeah. Um, right, no. no. So we thought we'd have a secu charcuterie. So we thought we'd have a charcuterie board and have a light meal, and it's ginormous. It's charcuterie for tutory. It, it looks dirty. But now it's charcuterie for fortery. I think I think it's a lot. That's a lot of food. Right. 